Hello everyone, I'm Lynn from Alphaz Gaming, and we're back with more detention. <laughs> She's so mad at me right now. Hey everyone. Oh, sweetie pea, I love you. <laughs> so we're back with more of detention. I feel as though I've kind of lost my mind a little thanks to this game, and this little one is not helping. I love you, but you need to go play, okay? Can you? Like, do you mind if I put you over here? All right. So we got the static thing figured out. We're gonna go through this doorway and see what kind of crazy crap jumps out at us now. Oh, we're out of play. Jesus. Okay. Hello. Um, yeah, she just, she just looks at that. Uh, what, what could I, I don't know, let's just use some. A glass cup of nauseating color, overflowing with the stench of human corruption. Plates and cups clash against the walls as father's voice roared through the halls. After a series of curses seething, all that's left is mother's weeping. Our family was once sweet together, healthy and caring when we gathered. And now, every night a restless sleep, every morning hard to wake. So it goes on day by day, the anguish digs ever deep. I was shattered into countless pieces, mirroring the crumbling of a familiar world, in a state of ceaseless decay, plunging into a river of despair, floating in limbo for the rest of our days. Okay. Huh. I don't know why the light turning on is making me jump. Like, all right, what do I give you? I guess I'll go down the line. Do I give this to you? Anticipating when we meet, footsteps ever quick and slight, roaming through a neon forest, strolling past the dazzling lights. I've become a little lark, brushing past the pretty flowers, chasing all the playful butterflies. I glide merrily by your side. I've been an actor in our play long before the curtains risen. Being held is ever comforting, longing for your loving embracing. For your love embracing. Listening to your many whispers, feeling each other's tranquil breathing. The white deer walked into my grasp. What a pleasant surprise. What a turn of fate. What a... I want to keep this moment in my palms for eternity. And what's the last thing's gonna... Oh, just me laying in bed. So, is, is this just her lamenting about everything that's happened so far? Because it's... It seems like she's just talking about whatever these things represent. Like, is this just her lamenting of, like, what she used to feel before all this craziness started? All of a sudden, we stopped meeting. You became distant bitterly, colder than the sun could melt, air around you freezing instantly, and my frozen body's beating heart, with each pulse tearing itself apart. Again, I'm left in abject solitude in a house that I call home, in a space that I call school, a walking corpse whose mind's without a sense of loss is drowned with doubt. Oh, that was the shortest one yet. Okay, I guess we'll leave. Let's see, like... I don't know. Every time I've walked through a just, just random doorway in this place... Oh, okay, I thought something was about to jump out of me. Chong Ming Hui? Well, I don't know how to say that one, unfortunately. I'm sorry. We need to talk about this. Miss Yin, it's not necessary to raise your voice like that. Why can't I? What were you thinking going after a child like that? Child? I was already studying abroad at her age. She's old enough to know what she wants. So what now? Will you lead her down this forbidden path? She only needs a push in the right direction, not for you to wrap your arms around her. This is not a, or this is our private matter. It's none of your business. How is it not? You're stuck in your little romance. Did you forget about us? We were already in the same boat, don't you forget? So is Miss Yin with the teacher who's dating or dated Ray? I don't know, I'm at a bit of a loss as to as to what's happening still. Okay, that's like no. And hand. And a person. Going to a Okay. What? 
I just... What was that? Was Did the teacher get his comeuppance and was, like, treated like a criminal for pretty much being a gross, sick man? Dating a child and a student? Ugh. And, like, I don't know what happened to Miss Yin. It's like, the, the, was the hallucination of Ray killing her not really a hallucination? And I can, I saw by the symbolism that it was supposed to show we killed Ray. So, I mean, or not Ray, Way. Getting people mixed up. A painful recollection. My soul is shattered into pieces. When I cannot put myself back together and forget everything, I open my eyes and welcome a barren world. Okay. It's the auditorium. Who is that? Is that the teacher in his later years? Maybe? Um... Are we in the real world? What's going on here? Okay, see you later, buddy. I don't know what you came to stand by this chair for. Or are we in the spirit world? I feel like this is the real world. And there's Ray. Is Ray a spirit? What is... Um, what is going on here? Yeah, she's see-through, so she looks like she's a ghost. And I'm... Hmm. There's nothing I can pick up. Nothing going on here. Just badness and sadness and all sorts of death. Let's see what's in here. Oh! Well, I'll deal with you in a little bit. I don't know. I can't. Can I not leave? So I gotta deal with her. Whatever the hell's going on with her. Hi! Shadow Ray. Our life would vanish, but not our guilt. I am you. Yet you are not me. It's the sin that makes you linger in this realm. Memories like mirrors reflecting the true likeness of your soul. In a world full of pain and suffering. Fong Rei Shin, what do you fear the most? Losing myself? Believe that we are all born free, eager to walk on your own path, and afraid of losing yourself. You are me. So, who's the real Ray? Is this, is this spirit world Ray? Quote unquote, the real Ray? But the other one is the ray that is a lingered? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Where can I go up here? Oh, I can go in here. Alright. Doors blocked by an unknown force. Alright. Well, I guess I won't go in there. Uh, where else can I go? Because it looks like everything's pretty well destroyed. Yeah, I can't go in there. Can I go in here? Thing in oh hello it's that guy again is he a ghost too like who's a ghost who's a ghost and who's not a ghost the bonfire of hope is almost depleted diminishing in the wind is this some kind of underground club like where did I just go okay cutscene time I'm guessing there we go some of the book contents might conflict with your everyday thoughts. But this material will help you engage in reflective and independent thinking. Well, let's call it a day. I do want to remind you all again to never mention the book club to anyone else. For that might put yourself and others in great danger. And Wei, I'd like to ask you a favor. Yes, Miss Yin? Is it about the new books? I 
I've already given the list to Mr. Chong. He said the shipping company won't help us anymore, but he'll figure something out. The government is enforcing restrictions on all imports. Soon the book club might come to an end. Hmm. Miss Yin, why are things like this? Sorry, Wei. There's nothing I can do either. Oh, just one more thing before you go. Mr. Chung never brought us any of those books in the first place, right? Ha! <laughs> I know I can always count on you. Wait, so... There's... Oh! There's a note here. Add a journal, clipping, blacklisted to... Whoa, okay. Return home for burial. Half a century in exile, blacklisted to return home for burial. During the period of martial law, Miss Yin Su Han was a wanted political fugitive. She was lucky to evade arrest and left the country only to be blacklisted. She traveled the world fighting for human rights and freedom of expression, but unfortunately died of lung cancer at the age of 50. Her last wish was to be able to return to her hometown. Now this wish can be achieved with the lifting of martial law. Also, oh, Miss Yin survived everything, so Ray didn't kill her. Okay, there's nothing over here. So Ray didn't kill her after all, and she ended up becoming a fugitive because she was trying to help people to learn and to think in a way that the, the government of this world didn't want them to know. Where's the door? Oh, there it is. So is everything that I'm witnessing just what Ray wanted? Or what's supposed to be tormenting her? I go in this door over here. What's going to lead? What's this going to lead to? Oh, hello. Hello, other Ray again. The way forward is the path to your past. However, the road ahead has crumbled. Lead me anywhere, and I will follow you like a shadow. Okay, well, you're not really following at all. Not even a little. The door handle is broken. I can't get in. All right, um... Well, I don't think I can get up here as this Ray, so what can I do up here? Go back and I could go down, but I feel... See, there's Ray up there. Oh, okay, now she's following me like a shadow. Oh, hi there. Can't open this door. Maybe I gotta go down and around. The sliding door is wrapped in barbed wire. Okay, can't open this door either. Oh, just don't let there be any linger. Do I... Okay, I don't even have the ability to hold my breath anymore anyway. I get the feeling I gotta go down and around. Yeah, and I can't go in there. I gotta go down and around so that way I can change back to the other ray. Yeah, because I can't go down anymore. I'm guessing this is supposed to be... Like, this is Ray's spirit trapped as a lingered in the present day world. And this is her trying to reconcile herself. Hello? Who can be calling at a time like this? Oh, I'm reliving all of the things that Ray did before. So now I should be able to go in here. Yeah, like those were just images of Ray's past. Remember when you enrolled so full of passion? Participating in every school activity, showing off your academic abilities. Grabbing the attention of your peers and teachers. Then things took a turn for the worse at home. All the attention quickly turned into unwanted scrutiny. So you chose... Ah, uh, what do I choose? Um... To escape, I would imagine. Because she wants to be true to herself. She wants to be free. I get the feeling this is going to lead to alternate endings. And so I'm really, I'm really hesitant to save after this point now. The world is immeasurably vast. There is always a place to hide. You are me. Alright, well. This place is completely lifeless. Even ideas are buried here. And now we're burning the books. Is it because they found out about the school club? The book club? Remember to thoroughly destroy each book and add the spirit money to throw them off. 
There can't be any intact book pages or else this would be for naught. Hey, Wei. You're closer with Miss Yin. I heard that she had to flee the country overnight. Is that true? I'm not sure. She never said anything about leaving. Unlike Miss Yin, we don't have the connections to guide us to safety. Aren't you afraid? Well, actually, what bothers me the most is, do you know how the reading list got leaked out? Stop asking questions. I'm as clueless as you. Let's just hurry up and finish this. We don't want to get caught. But they did. I'm guessing they did, and Wade died for it. So another note. A written verdict from court. A torn piece of the verdict. Chong Lingui, district level educator, is found guilty with students Wei and others of collusion with communist forces. Chong Lingui is to be put to death after the court's ruling. Wei Chong Ting pleads guilty to affiliation with communist forces. Reading a prohibited text with rebellious and corrupt thoughts will be sentenced to 15 years jail time. Oh, so Wei didn't. Wei didn't die? Well, he didn't. He didn't die from. Ray. Is this way though? Like that looks like that might be way. Like I can't go out here, can I? Oh, okay, I can. Oh wait, no, this is where I was before. Maybe now I can go through that other door on the other side. Let's try to see if we can open this door and find out who this old man is cuz I feel like it's way. This is after he was released. Or is it? This is where that mirror scared the crap out of me. And there's... Why is this... Barricaded? The door is barred by a broom. There's a note on top of it. Snitcher. Remove the broom. Is this... Alright, is this where Ray is? Is this where... Is that where Ray would have had her corpse found. Oh, there's that musical note I played earlier. Or musical series. This sounds way too cheery for this setting. Hello, sir. Okay, we found another note. Like, there was no story without one. I get the feeling we're getting closer and closer to finding out what happened to Ray. Note entry. Excerpt. That time, in fear, forcing herself to breed hatred. Who knew that she would take that leap and leave this world behind? Nary a last word because of fear? Remorse? The reason remains undecided. I was left with a blur of confused thoughts spiraling through my mind. When I saw the sunlight again, things had changed drastically. My loved ones and teacher went to a higher place. She was buried in an unmarked grave, leaving me a decrepit man. So... I don't know. I don't want to keep speculating because I don't know what happened. Like, I'm guessing that Ray... I'm guessing that Ray is dead. That's the only thing I, I'm going to say with any level of certainty at this point is that I'm, I am fairly certain Ray is dead. Either she committed suicide... Something happened. I could save, but we're gonna go past it because I am. I feel like I'm so close to the end. I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna finish this. Oh, I had to go in there anyway. What is this? There's a note on the cart. Is that when I found that note on the puppet cart? Is there anywhere else I can go out here? No? That's all closed. Alright, so we'll go in here. Uh, oh. What? Alright, so she changed. Okay, so I have to bring other Ray with me over to there and then have her stop in the light so I can change. 
All right, let's flip this back off. Because otherwise, she stays too far away for me to switch. She moves like my shadow, like she said. Acting immediately on one's determination, this is the philosophy he believed in. That someone should take fate into their own hands. With you following him, what ideas do you hold? Take hold of your destiny. That just, the, to me, the person that Ray has been saying she wants to be, that's what it sounds like. That is a charming thought. That and just like the idea of independence just seems to be so important in this story, in my opinion. So life has gained a goal. Next to him, you found yourself. You are me. So we get to find out more about Ray as a person. So, so far, just to kind of do a quick recap. What? Miss Yin became a fugitive and left the country. The teacher who, oh, the teacher who dated her was executed and away went to prison. And I think we're about to find out what happened to Ray. No matter how many times this replays, nothing can be unwound. You can never redeem yourself. What? There's a police officer out here. And is that Ray? Instructor by. This is the book list I mentioned before. I found it on our teacher's desk. Miss hmm. Fong, the country appreciates your assistance. So Ray did snitch on them, like she is the one they keep calling a snitcher. Did you think finding something to rely on would stave off your fear? One day, however, he was gone, just like that. You've lost everything you can depend on. What choice will you make now? I'll try to take them back. The instructor's sharp gaze was stifling. You steeled yourself and performed without hesitation. In that one moment, transforming into a pitiless patriot. Easier than you think, right? You are me. Can I? Okay, I can't sneak out of there. So, wow. So we're the reason, like that confirms it. We're the reason all of this happened to Wei and Miss Yin and the creepy pedophile teacher. We're the reason for it. Because we went and told Instructor by it. Oh no. Can I talk to him now? He's gone. Did he come back just to reminisce? dear to my white daffodil, fate holds us apart, so let us meet again in another life, to our freedom. Is... I don't... No, no more speculation. I just want to know what happens. Open the door. Chong Ming Hui, you are suspected of spreading anti-government propaganda. Smuggling banned books and organizing illegal gatherings. The court has already obtained the necessary evidence. We now arrest you on the grounds of rebellious activities. Do not resist on pain of death. Looks like it'll be difficult to escape this time. Fine. Take my head so that I may join my brothers and sisters in death. Why? 
Aren't people born to live freely? To think openly? To speak their minds without restriction or fear? Freedom of belief, love, and self-realization. Being with you was a happiness of the simplest and purest kind. I couldn't help but think. When we could be hand in hand, living an untroubled life. But in the end, this is only a fool's dream. I too in vain, like the daffodils, fixated on my grandiosity. The world is not ready for the likes of us. Daffodils died by a river of crimson blood, decaying rust-like into the void. So I guess this is the present. Where am I? Oh, okay, I don't actually get to see anything right now. Oh, okay. I'm controlling him. There doesn't seem to be anything I can pick up. Wait, what does this say? Construction signboard. Evidence of vandalism alongside many signs of protest. So do we have to go to all the places we saw him at? Metal lodging for laborers. The last to be demolished, all to be demolished. Barred from the heavens and hampered from the underworld. Huh? Alone and wandering, forever she goes. Is she talking about Ray? Pitiful. Oh, that. Wasn't there like huge tree here? The large banyan tree has been cut down. It's weathered the storm of generations, yet it fell under the sharp edges of human desire. Andromeda, please. Andromeda, please. Go on, baby girl. Amnesty certificate. Our certificate of amnesty, named Wei Chung Ting. Type of pardon, amnesty, crime declared invalid. Thought I would rot in jail. I didn't expect to live past martial law. People say I'm a victim of politics. My crime was written off. My youth is long past. Something lost can never be regained. It's a yellow letter. My son, Chung Ting, even though I witness sickness and death on a daily basis, this still fills my heart with grief. Your mother's disease was utterly untreatable. I can only hope she died without worry, without pain. A person's body can be physically locked up, but your mind is always free to go where it pleases. Father hopes you can still get some peace of mind in the situation. Stay warm, stay safe. Your father, Jiaxin. I can't... I don't know Chinese that well. Like, I feel so bad that I'm butchering these names. Eventually, Mother still passed away. Father didn't take it well and had to take a break from his clinic work. His written words were spirited and calming. They supported me during my darkest days. Yeah, so that's everything that I've... Everything that tells the story. So this is... This is Wei. We're getting to experience what Wei did after he got out of prison. Can't go up. Oh, this is the credits. What? Time. It rots everything away. Even I cannot hide from it. Oh, man. This is the credit? Oh. I get the feeling we're going to be going through the school, so let me see what's going on. Oh, we started the story with him and we're ending with him as well. This is just... This is some heavy stuff, man. Like, 
like, holy cow, this has been an amazing game. I get the feeling like we're gonna find out what happened to Ray, but I get the feeling that we might already know. Just an empty classroom. Oh, is this Way's classroom? This was Way's desk where he met Ray. Or not where he met Ray, but where he talked to her at the beginning of the game. an experience that was detention everyone that was that was a type of horror I did not expect because it dealt with the supernatural but it also very much dealt with the very real terrors that people can feel and the oppressions that people can feel in this environment and it's just such a powerful story to tell and I just I'm just so just like happy and just astounded that they made this game and I'm so glad I played it it's like this was so good it's it's a different type of game than what I would have thought to play but I really really enjoyed it and I don't know if I got the good ending or if I got the bad ending because I guess there's multiple endings I, I saw that uh, there are apparently multiple endings, but I don't know which one I technically got, so please tell me in the comments below, because I don't know. But man. I'm gonna see if there's anything after the comments before I say that we're leaving or anything. I still don't know if I got the good ending or the bad ending, but anyway, so that was detention, everyone. I got an achievement that said back to school. It just said follow, follow way back to the school, so I don't know if I got the good ending or the bad ending. But man, was that intense. So, oh man, I, I'm gonna say because there was no like concrete saying Ray died, I'm guessing Ray either committed suicide or uh, like that's the thing I'm gonna say, or she died in that bathroom after being locked in. But I'm, oh man, that was, that was heavy man, but anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please leave us a like and leave a comment down below telling me what you liked about it. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!